Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your 2021 yearly entrepreneur reading. This is going to be a reading for all the entrepreneurs out there um, who want to start their own business career or possibly have something independent already. Uh, this is going to be a reading for you for the upcoming year. So I do hope there's something here that's going to be helpful for you, Cappy, in regards to that area of your life. Uh, if you'd like a private reading with me, all the information that you need is listed below in the show more section. Feel free to browse the channel for your other yearly readings. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up um, with the overview for Capricorn. Uh, overview, what do we have coming up for you um, for entrepreneurs? Okay, we've got the three of ones, something to do with long distance plans um, and journeys or coming a long way. Uh, three of Wands is a card of taking action, okay? You can see he's got his bags packed and he's looking out to the horizon here. So Capricorn, um, a lot of you are going to be making some big, um, big judgment calls, some big decisions that may or may not involve moving or relocating. Um, this is about casting a wider net and your career opportunities taking you far and wide. So I think expansion is a big thing for you. The number three is significant, which does speak about a big journey coming up. Uh, the number three can also symbolize there's, um, for some of you, there might be some sort of collaboration involving three different companies, three different people, for example. Um, that number could be around you, um, but it's very much a number of completion as well, birth, life, death, beginning, middle, end. Um, so you're completing something really big uh, this year, Cappy, that's going to help you. Uh, possibly something that's going to come into the year 2023 even as well. So keep an eye out on that. But there might be a fire sign around you this year. Um, but I love, the, you know, this is very much the long-term card. So if you're starting something, uh, it could indicate that you're going to be doing it for the long term. So if you're starting it uh, this year, Cappy, you could very well be doing that um, for the long term. This is about the long-term vision, um, being involved for the long haul, so to speak. Okay, the Empress, Seven of Pentacles, okay, the King of Pentacles, the Death card. Okay, some of you have a Taurus or a Scorpio or Taurus or Scorpio season. Um, it's going to be important for you. Something significant may happen uh, around this time. Okay, you've got the Fool, Eight of Swords, the Star. And the Seven of Chalices. Okay, you've got Aries with the full card, something about a new beginning um, or something that can happen in Aries season, but it is coming up reversed. So in the beginning, um, something may fall or decrease. Uh, there could be a moment of humiliation or uncertainty because you do have that Eight of Swords as well. Um, so fear is possibly going to get the better of you, he Cappy, in this month. Um, but something you dreaded or didn't want to happen may happen towards the beginning of the year um, because that full card is reversed here. Um, I do want to say you've got uh, Aquarius here as well. So Aquarius season is coming up with the star card. Um, I love that this has come up because this is the card of fame. This is the card of being in the spotlight. This is the card of exposing things to the world. Um, it's also a card of healing. And you do have multiple finance cards here. So um, Capricorn, if this is loss of some kind that you may experience, know that there's going to be financial healing around you. So that's very positive. You'll be able to heal your ways. It is sitting around these cards. Um, the King of Pentacles is here. Okay, this is a large amount of money. Um, I love when he comes up because it shows settling down and feeling very established. Um, so Capricorn, you could this could very well be the year that you're really establishing yourself financially speaking, jumping from the seven to the king. Okay, so that's quite nice. Um, potentially a new asset, uh, working from home or a new location. I'm spending quite a bit of money, okay? So it's either a lot of money coming in or a lot of money going out um, is what I'm seeing here. But there could be someone of affluence uh, coming in around you who's going to help you in some way. You've got the King of Pentacles and the Empress, okay? It's not always have to be a romantic couple, but there is a collaboration in the cards. Uh, and maybe with Taurus or a Leo, to me, she's a very Taurian energy. Um, but look, it can indicate that you have a collaboration coming up and it's going to be very fruitful. The Empress is about growth. So you're going to see a big jump in growth, I think. Um, growth of client database, growth of finances, um, growth of fame even. You're really going to notice these sorts of things. And you're sort of going to be planting little seeds and nurturing those seeds. The Empress ruling the pomegranate seeds like fertility and growth. Um, she's also very results 
results orientated. So I feel like you're very much going to be focused and hone in on that. Um, you've got the seven of ch uh, chalices around the uh, period of Scorpio. So for some of you around Scorpio season, you may start to notice that um, there could be some sort of ending or transformation. And there is an ending and then the fall can represent a beginning. So you may end something here, Capricorn, and then pick it back up or start at it once again. Um, there is about uh, the notion of rebirth or reinventing yourself. So you might be um, getting a new pen name. You might be changing up your look. You might be changing up your design, um, switching up products. There is some sort of reinvention here that's going to work in your favor, um, especially if you feel like with the uh, Seven of Chalices, Seven of Cups, you feel disoriented about it. There's something that's not sitting well with you. Um, you may brainstorm and think of some new ways to reinvent yourself, and that may happen around uh, Scorpio season. Uh, Scorpio season later this year so or you have a destined Scorpio Taurus Aquarius Aries um, who's coming in around you and is going to be very prominent around you this person may help you here um, I do want to say there might be an opportunity that presents itself um, and it's almost like you're fearful Eight of Swords, the swords almost look like bars, so be careful not to get in trouble with, um, like, in legal trouble, uh, Capricorn. This could be, like, copyright issues. This could be, like, um, theft. Uh, it's legal things. You know, you don't want to end up behind bars or anything, so just be careful about that. There could be some sort of crime activity or fraudulent activity either happening to you or that you might be a part of, and... You know, maybe that's something you need to be careful of. It may happen around an air sign. Uh, but something's written in your stars. I think destined things are happening for you. Destined things are happening for you that are going to impact your long-term future. So you may or may not see them throughout the course of the year, Cappy, but just know that the things, the people that you're meeting, the things that are happening, the ideas you're coming up with, they're going to be around you for the long-term future. So that's very positive. Um, it's going to be your long-term vision here. And you're going to be able to move forward with that, um, knowing, you know, you've got star energy around you. So lots of healing and, um, you know, remedying, making up for mistakes or past mistakes, possibly trial and error this, this year. So that's something that could be coming up also. Um, but I do hope this reading has been helpful, Cappy. Please remember it is a general reading. If you'd like a private reading with me, all the information that you need is listed below. Um, I'm sure we'll catch up soon, Cappy, but please feel free to see your other readings for the year up on my channel. Otherwise, uh, take care, everyone. Stay safe during this time, and I'm sure we'll catch up soon. Bye for now.